Narcissists are no fun. I did a video on this three years ago, but I wanted to do an updated version of it. After everything that I have learned in the past three years, Narcissists are no fun. There's no enjoyment, amusement, or light-hearted pleasure from being around the narcissist. There's no playfulness. Everything has to be serious or severe in effect. There's never a time where they can just let their hair down. They can never relax completely or enjoy themselves. They always have their inhibitions. They always have their feelings that can make them self-conscious and unable to act in a relaxed and natural way. They're always uptight about something. Narcissists are no fun to be around. They are boring. And they will cause you to feel wary and uninterested because they all do the same things. They're very predictable and deep down they know this. They know that you're more interesting than they are. They know that you're more worthy of attention. And that's why they're so envious and jealous of you. That's why they always have to throw gloom over your social enjoyment. That's why they spoil your enjoyment and fun by disapproving of it or refusing to join in. They're always in opposition to you. It's always a competition. They refuse to share the same opinions, ideas or enthusiasm. Because otherwise you would realize just how boring they really are. And they don't want you to see that. So instead, they just pretend like there's something wrong with what you're doing. They disapprove of it. Because deep down they already know they're boring. They already know they're no fun to be around. Which is why they always have to rain on your parade. They always have to prevent you from enjoying an event. They always have to spoil your plans or celebrations. They always have to give you negative information whenever they see that you're happy or excited about something because they cannot share that same happiness. They're numb to those feelings. They can never be happy or excited about anything. They can never be satisfied. But they don't want to own those feelings. They don't want to accept that there's something wrong with them. Instead, they will try to convince you that there's something wrong with what you're doing, as though you need to fix something to make them happy, when that isn't your responsibility. No matter what you do for the narcissist, they will always be miserable, and they will always be boring. That's just the way they are, and it is not your job to fix them. They all behave the same way. They all say the same things because they have no personal identity. They have no self. They abandoned their true self and they created a false character. So rather than having a personality that is recognizably different and individual, they have been taken over by their ego, by their sense they're only concerned with themselves. 
and how important they appear to other people. And it's very boring when you're around someone who makes everything about themselves. But they do this because they're very insecure. They can be very childish. They can be very silly and immature. But they can also be very angry. They can often feel and show strong annoyance, displeasure and hostility. Especially when you question or confront them. Or if you don't agree with them on something. And when you're getting more attention than them. They hate it when the spotlight is not on them and how special or important they are. They need to be the center of attention at all times. When you're around a narcissist, the message they're always trying to convey to you is that you're not important. You're not of great significance or value. You don't have high rank or status. You're not significantly original or influential. That's what their behavior is trying to tell you. When something is important, they have to make you unimportant. They may act like they care about you. They may do things for you that seem kind and thoughtful. They may come to your rescue. But there's always unpleasant conditions or special demands that come along with it. And when you finally separate, that's when you will see just how important you really are. You will see that they don't care about your future. They won't take responsibility. They will blame you for everything. They will throw you under the bus. They will cause you to suffer in order to maintain their own sense of importance and false image. You will be to blame. When you try to have a conversation with a narcissist, you will feel like you're going crazy because there's so many projections. There's blame shifting, there's gaslighting. There's so many things that don't make sense. They always go off topic. They always bring up things that are not relevant to the subject under discussion. They always have to change the subject because they're very envious and jealous. So they cannot consistently discuss anything good about you unless they're in a good mood and they're willing to give you your 15 minutes of fame. But they may later punish you for that. And it's very boring because you know they don't want to hear anything about you. You know it's eating them up inside. Because everything has to be about them and how special and important they are. They can't share your happiness. Everything is a competition with them. Because they're not really on your side. They're just there for the benefits and conveniences that come along with being with you, which is why they're not honest or loyal. They don't have any care or consideration for you. They don't want what you want. They don't want to work as a team. They don't want to cooperate with you. They don't want to collaborate. They don't want peace and harmony. They don't want love. That's boring to a narcissist. It doesn't fulfill them. They want chaos and drama. And that's what makes them boring. 
That's why they're no fun. The narcissist will say or do cruel and hurtful things to you. And sometimes it can be very sudden and unexpected. You may think that everything is okay, but then they will suddenly turn on you. But one thing that should be expected is that they will work out what hurts you. Because whatever hurts you, they're going to say or do it. Because when you react to the narcissist, it gives them narcissistic supply. It gives them fuel. It makes them feel really important. It makes them feel superior because they're able to affect you. They will work out what is absent from your life. They will work out what is deficient. They will work out what you're looking for. And they will pretend to be this person who is going to save you from this painful or bad experience. They will pretend to be this person who is going to rescue you from harm or danger. But once they've caught you in their trap, they will change suddenly. They will start hurting you because now they already know what you're susceptible to. They already know what you're likely or liable to be influenced or harmed by. If you felt like you were not heard or listened to, the narcissist will come along and act like they're interested in you, but then they will abandon you. They will fail you when you need them most so that they can make you feel unimportant. The narcissist will always make everything about themselves. They're very selfish. They're insecure. They're childish. They always have to be the center of attention. They always have to say or do whatever they think will hurt you because they have no self. All they can do is manipulate you and target your wounds because they want you to react to them. They want your negative energy. They don't want anything fun. They don't want anything positive because your pain is what they feed on, which is why they will always do what hurts you. Whatever hurts you, that's what they're going to do next, which actually makes them very predictable. Whenever something is going well, whenever you're happy or excited about something, they will always find a way to bring it down. They will always find a way to make you miserable just like them. Because misery loves company. They're miserable, so they like to see you miserable. They're hurt, so they want you to be hurt. It makes them very boring. And that is why narcissists are no fun. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.